MYPD3 has had an impact in terms of our reduced capital allocation. We'll deliver what we have committed to our expansion program. Uh, we will have to reduce, review our budgets in terms of other areas of the business. Uh, but uh, it is very important. We would, uh, we're working through it with our board, we're working through it with our shareholder as to the different trade-offs that we would need uh, to make. And we, we started with 225 billion. We clearly communicated that that gap will have to be closed by some efficiency measures. Mm -hmm. That gap will have to be closed by some additional funding, mm -hmm. debt funding. That gap will have to be closed by, uh, you know, uh, the IPPs, for instance. Uh, you know, we just then lock in what has been contracted in terms of the volume of that. So that was quite easy because the regulator has, has approved those. Uh, and that gap had to be closed by using the regulatory clearing account, which has got, got a tariff impact. That is contained in the regulation uh, in terms of that. And then we said that if after we've gone through all of that, and it had an internal efficiency program of quite a you know, significant chunk in as well. And then we said that if after we've done all of that and worked through our mandate and, and all of that, you know, if we cannot close the gap, then we will have to go back to reopen the tariff. So that was always part of our, our uh, response strategy. So what are the flavors? We said we're going to lock in the first two-year budget. We've done that. Uh, next two years, because if you look at the gap, you know, two years is pretty stable. We have done that, and we're now working on how do you look at the long-term aspects. There's teams working on the, the costs. Caroline and the team is working on the funding. We have made an application to a regulator uh, as to the re regulatory clearing account. Now, that's important. We're working through that process with the regulator. Uh, you know, one of the trade-offs would be in a demand-side management program. We're substantially reducing uh, that program. Uh, you know, uh, the, the amount, the money that we have available to spend on our primary energy is a big issue uh, for us. Uh, sales volumes is another one. By the way, the sales volumes are coming lower than MYPD3, so that would have an, an impact. And uh, we are going back to look at some of the, the equity issues, because you have to. It's very clear for us, uh, if you look at the balance sheet, <laughs> that you would have to look at some of those choices as well. Uh, you know, and, and we will have to work, and we started work with government through working through all of those uh, specific aspects. The capex is another area. You know, we com complete what we what we started, uh, but new investments and, and when do we find full, uh, you know, redundancy in some of our networks? So those areas are certainly impacted. So th that's some of the the flavour that I would like to to, to add on.